West as the uh, parade comes on to Massachusetts from 7th Street. And there you see the Crimson Girls. Is that the Crimson Girls there? Yeah, you look down the parade route. Down the parade route, down we'll Massachusetts. Look at you. The Crimson Girls are going by. Some of the clowns. Everybody in a festive mood today. This all concludes with the basketball banquet tonight, which has been sold out for months. Oh, it's packed. You're going to have 12, 13, 1400 people uh, crammed into the holodome for one final tribute to the Jayhawks and to Larry Brown. They have about 55 units in this parade, Jim, and they're estimating anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half that it will take for everyone to get by. But there's an unknown factor here because they didn't require people to, uh, to enter the parade. So anybody that shows up can be in the parade today, and uh, they don't know until they show up how many they're going to have. So there's the Crimson Girls going by our booth right now, along with a KLWN uh, truck. Uh, Bill Lee in there broadcasting. Of course, they carry with the Jayhawk Network. And uh, right behind them, Bob uh, Bob, uh, Bob and Davis and Max Falkenstein, the voice of the Kansas Jayhawks on radio. What a year for them. Did you look at some of the Special Olympians coming by. I asked uh, Bob Frederick, I mean, I asked uh, Max Falkenstein if this was the most exciting uh, year he's had. And he said, yes, definitely. Uh, this was the uh, the most exciting year that they've ever had uh, uh, following the Hawks. There's Bob and Matt. And some wheelchair athletes following up behind. Max says the 1952 team, which also won the national championship, was a great year, but it was sort of expected, and this, of course, was a bit of a surprise. Larry Brown, very, very active with the Special Olympics gym, and we're going to see... Uh, several members of the Special Olympics uh, here today to pay tribute to uh, Larry Brown and what he's done and what he's meant to their program. Here's some of the kids now coming in. They sponsored the basketball clinics last summer, of course. They went around the state playing uh, warm-up games uh, at the beginning of the year, Jim, three or four different places uh, around the state, raised some $20,000 for the Special Olympics. And they're very, very appreciative of uh, everything that the Jayhawks have done for them. Again, look at some of the fans here today. We're glad that you can't be here in person. We're glad you're joining us live here on Sunflower Cable Vision as Milton Newton comes by. What a tremendous player he turned out to be this year. What can you say about the junior from Washington, D.C.? I tell you what, played in 35 games this year, averaged 11.6 points, five rebounds, did it all. Played in the Pan Am Games last Saturday for the Virgin Islands, last summer for the Virgin Islands, was elected to the Midwest Regional All-Tourney Team. Honorable mention all Big East this year. What a year for the junior. Here's John Weatherwax and his pep band uh, putting a little life into the parade. Weatherwax and company all around town. And you take a look at Milton Newton. Had 29 points in that game against Oklahoma State in the Big 8 tourney for his career high. Steady performance. Came in for Archie Marshall. Marvin Maddox right behind Milton Newton. Maddox, the senior from Pomona, California. Haskell Winter Tribal Club. Haskell Junior College, behind the Jayhawks all the way. Look at Mike Maddox. Mike Maddox, freshman. He's expected to contribute a lot next year for the Jayhawks. Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Played in 24 games this year. In the Lawrence High Pep Band. Boy, they had a lot to cheer about this year. Well, they certainly the did. Lions they. going to the state championship. They know all about the state championship. <laughs> Unexpected pleasure for Lawrence High School this year. And, of course, Chris Piper played on that state championship basketball team for Lawrence High four years ago. Danny Manning played the, for the runner-up team. Right. I think it was five years ago for Chris. Five years for Chris. Four for, four for Danny. Got uh, Clint Moore. Having a little bit of trouble seeing our monitor here on this bright sunny day, Jim. Glad we have the sun though, rather than the grizzly rain. There's the uh, Chamber of Commerce float. 
paying tribute to all of the excitement the Hawks have brought to Lawrence this year. Some of the fans up on the rooftops on the roof downtown, downtown Lawrence. All over the place. Biggest traffic jam we've had in a long time around here. There goes Clint Normore and into your picture. There's a couple of more Jayhawks. There's Bob Nelson, the old Jayhawk. Marvin with Maddox in there. And here's the Cobras, Jim, of Kansas City. Brian Wilson is their director. during the college bowl season. The young group. Well, here comes another uh, convertible with a Taco John's mascot in it. Can't see who else is in there. Right behind will come Jeff Gelder. Jeff Gelder. You look back behind Jeff and the next big float on its way. There's Jeff. Jeff Charleston, Illinois, sophomore. He'll be back next year to lead the junior. What a job he did this year. 32 games, Charlie, and that's a lot. That's a lot. Shot 42% from the field, 68% from the free throw line. This is an Ethan Smith moving in storage and Charlton Manley float. Throwing out all kinds of goodies to the kids. Bubble gum and whatever. Bob Johnson up there, I see. And who do we have here? Is that Lincoln Miner? That's Lincoln Miner going Lincoln by. Lincoln Miner, I believe. There he is. Lincoln stuck with the Jayhawks this year. Junior out of Houston, Texas. Played for Midland Junior College. Played in 34 games this year. Excellent job at guard for the Jayhawks. Right behind him is uh, Sean Alvarado Sean coming in. Red shirted this year. He'll be back for his senior year next year. May Smith Hall is saluting the uh, McCollum Hall, saluting the Jayhawks. Well, they're keeping this parade going fast, Jim. Oh. Old, Old West Lawrence. Old West Lawrence. Several uh, associations being represented here today. Here comes Old West Lawrence. There you look at Sean. Sean Alvarado. And redshirted this year. Expected to be a strong force for the Hawks next season. There he is, Kevin Pritchard. Kevin Pritchard. Outstanding sophomore from Oklahoma out of Tulsa. Averaged 10.6 points a game. A couple of three rebounds a game. Moved over to the point guard this year. Started every game except one game that he was injured. Right from the horse's mouth. <laughs> that horse is being uh, provided by Hal Johnson with his horse and wagon, saluting uh, for Naismith Hall and McCollum Hall. Now things slowing down just a little bit as they pile up a little bit down the line. Here are the kids coming up for the autographs. Boy, you should have seen them climbing around the kids, <laughs> around the players when they first showed up down on the on 7th Street, Jim. It was all the players could do to get to their assigned cars because everybody wanted one last autograph. Again, I haven't heard the crowd estimates, Charlie. It was supposed to be upwards 30,000 plus. I heard numbers of 50,000 fans out today. I think almost every business is shut down early, so everyone would have a chance to get here. And again, we're glad that you don't have the chance that you're watching with us today. There's a look down Massachusetts Street. It's south along Mass Street. This is a first for us, Jim, for Sunflower 